guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial, we are going to talk about lightning flows. In this particular course, I will be covering flows in a very in-depth manner and also I will be covering a lot of real-time examples and the previous flows that I have built in the past at my workplace. So let's get started and uh, let's go ahead and see why flows are so important to learn. So what does the flow do? So flow allow you to build complex business automation using clicks instead of code. So earlier what used to happen is whenever we have to build any complex requirement, we needed uh, a developer to implement that for us. If that was out of the scope of process builder or workflows in that cases, in that, those cases, we used to depend on developers to implement that functionality for us. But with time, what has happened is with the help of flows, you can build a very complex business automation and you don't need to code anything. And as an admin, flows are going to be your best friend because you will be able to handle a lot of complex requirements without the need of a Salesforce developer. And as you know, Salesforce developer comes out at a very expensive cost. So if you can do the same kind of requirements with the help of flows, which an admin can do as well, then over time, you would not be needing those developers to implement that kind of logic, right? So if you need to perform mass updates across multiple unrelated records, or if you want to do put any complex logic into opportunity conversion, then those are some of the common examples where you can use flows. And earlier, this kind of complexity was handled through Apex code. But flows can do a lot of powerful and they work like Apex code. So you can achieve a lot of complex requirements with the help of flows. And the benefit of Salesforce flows is that they are very easy to maintain because anybody with a non-programming background or who is familiar with the flows will be able to follow along what you have done in the flow because they are very self-explanatory. Once we start building our flows, you will be able to see what the flow is doing without even diving deep into because it gives a very pictorial representation of what is happening. Whereas if you have to achieve the same kind of knowledge through the help of code, you have to dig deeper into code, understand what the code is doing and all of that. But what flows gives is flow gives a very easy to understand layout where you can understand what's going on with that flow or what the flow is trying to do because it's very self-explanatory. So over time, flows have become very, very powerful and they have been a very good friend of admins and admins have been building a lot of complex logic with the help of flows. An important update that I want to mention about flows is that what Salesforce has announced that workflow rules and process builder will be retired and flow will be the only declarative automation solution on the platform. And that gives you another reason that why you should be learning about flows because with time, the workflow rules and process builders will retire. So any new automation you have to build, you have to know about flows because that will be the only automation tool that will be available for you in future. And this has not come to as a surprise because Salesforce has not updated the functionality of other automation solutions in many years and flow has been their concentration over the past couple of years and because flow have the apex code like functionality it is one of the most powerful automation tool that's out there so a very important reason that you should be learning about flows is that oh very soon process builders and workflows will no longer be there to implement and if you have to build any kind of automation in future you have to build them through flows and you that's why you need to know about flows and how you can build complex functionality with the help of flows. So by learning and adopting the flows, you can help your business beyond what a declarative Salesforce admin would have been able to do before. Salesforce admin, as I mentioned before, that if there was a very complex logic that is out of the scope of process builders or workflows, 
then that time they had to depend on a developer which comes at a very expensive cost to implement that kind of functionality but since as men, as i mentioned to you that flows are you can build very complex business requirements with the help of the flows and as an admin you can do that as well so you don't need uh, a developer to implement that kind of logic for you now what we're going to do here is we are going to be creating a developer account and this is the developer account that we will be using for our learning purpose so our upcoming flows that i will be teaching you and we will be building we will be using this developer account if you already have a developer account you are free to use that one but i will recommend you to create a new developer account just for this particular course because then it will be more easier to understand and also it will be separate from other things that you have been doing in your developer account so i'll highly encourage you guys to create a developer account and that is the developer account for this course only so in the next tutorial we will be building our developer account so i'll see you then thank you so much